Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru. It is September 27th, 2023, and I am here for another run at Connections. I'm always a bit nervous at this point in time. So I'm going to read these, but not in order because they try to fool us sometimes, like with Monty Python right next to each other. Oh, and speaking of which, uh, yesterday I contended that I didn't think Viper belonged in the group because a Viper is just... A viper is another word for snake. It's synonymous. And I was totally wrong. I did my research afterward. Viper is a type of a poisonous snake with a hinged jaw. Boa is a constrictor. Python is a constrictor. Mamba, I think, is another venomous snake. Not quite sure about that, but I wanted to correct myself on where I was actually wrong. And I still contend digest is a little bit tricky to put into that group of summaries because a digest is a compilation of summaries. So anyway, uh, let's see what this holds for us. We've got licorice, sap, lollipop, hurricane. So we've got licorice and lollipop, acorn and sap, needle, acorn, sap. Those are all tree parts. Chocolate, chocolate, sucker. But we have sucker and we have lollipop chocolate and licorice we'll find out pollen more tree stuff mark face chump chump sucker sap oh i don't know potato fool cone gum all right i'm going to focus on the candy because i'm an expert at that Let's see, we've got licorice, we've got chocolate, we've got lollipop, we've got gum. We have sucker. I think we can exclude that one. I think we've got sucker, chump, fool, mark, and maybe sap. So five possibilities there. We have to figure out probably sap is going to go with the trees. I like this grouping. I haven't looked at the other stuff yet. What was it? Hurricane. I don't know. So let's get rid of this. Hopefully, cross your fingers. Here we go. Awesome. Got that one done. So now let's look at sucker, mark, chump, and fool, I think is a good grouping. If we do that, then for tree parts, we are left with pollen sap, cone, needle, and acorn. So even if we take away sap, we would still have, so maybe sap is in this group. I'm going to try this group as it is and see. And if, I, if it's not, well, what will I replace the sap with? Okay, I'm not ready to do this yet. Fool, sucker, mark, chump. I think those go well together. I wish we had a tool in here where we could mark things. Uh, like maybe boxes, categories one, two, three, and four, and we could play around putting them in places. Um, let's see. So if we look at parts of a tree, acorn, needle, sap, pollen, cone. Um, why did I feel like there were more? Okay, so if it's an evergreen tree, it could produce cone, needle, and probably sap and pollen. If it's a deciduous, it could produce an acorn. Do we take out acorn? What are, what's left behind? If we take out sucker, or do we take out sap and do this, and that goes... I don't know. If we also take out sucker and fool and mark and chump. 
That's what I think it is. Fool sucker. Oh, I already did that. Uh, yeah, I do think, I don't think sap goes in there, but I could be wrong. Um, then we're left with potato, face, hurricane, and something else. So if we do something like, I'm going to take these off. If we do eye of the hurricane, eye of the cone, eye of the sap, eye of the fool, eye of the acorn, eye of the needle. Needles have eyes. Eye of the potato, potatoes have eyes. And faces have eyes. Hurricane, needle, potato, and face. So we take away needle from the trees, and then we, I think we would need sap there. Eyes of a face, eyes of a potato, eyes of a needle, or eye of a needle, eye of a hurricane, eyes of a potato, eyes of a face. I like that group. I think that makes sense, and that reduces some problems we have. Oh, got it. Okay. So then I think it's fool, sucker, mark, chump. And then that would leave us with sap, cone, pollen, and acorn. Right? Nice. All right, we got them all. Produced by trees. Okay, parts of a tree produced by trees. Yeah, because pollen, you can't really say it's a part of a tree? I mean, I guess you could, but we don't think of it in that way. So, all right. That is it for me. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And thanks to David Wilcox, who has a song called Eye of the Hurricane. Because that's how I got that one. <laughs> thanks. Bye-bye.